Welcome. In this video, we will show you how to generate, analyze, and optimize an anchored soldier pile wall model with DPEX. Initially, we will create a 2D excavation model with the DPEX script commands. We write to the command box on the left side of the screen, create a 30 feet deep excavation with two levels of tiebacks, and the software will produce the excavation model with all construction stages in seconds. In DPEX, we can edit the soil types and stratigraphy in user-friendly dialogues. We can access the soil types, add new soils, edit the soil properties, or estimate them using the implemented SPT estimator or partial values estimation tools. Then we can edit the stratigraphy. We will apply a fill layer from elevation 0 and below, a medium dense sand from elevation minus 8 feet, a glacial till from elevation minus 28.5 feet and a rock soil at elevation 48 feet. We will change the water table to minus 30 feet in all construction stages. Then we can edit the wall properties. We can double click on the wall and change the wall depth to 55 feet, placing the piles 7 feet deep into the rock. We will edit the wall section and change the wall type to soldier piles with H beams. We will change the pile spacing to 8 feet and we will select the H beam section W21 by 101 from the implemented database. We can change the pile types to drilled and apply the 2.5 feet drilled hole diameter adjusting also the widths for the calculation of pressures on the piles below the excavation. We will analyze this model with the traditional limit equilibrium method, assuming no interface friction between the piles and the soil. We select to use the simplified flow method for the water pressures, we will use the FHWA apparent earth pressure method, and we will use the Caltrans method to analyze the wall. We can also make a copy of the model. And in this case, we will apply the finite element method. This allows us to evaluate the same model with different approaches. In the FEM design section, we will assume as wall friction 50% of the soil friction angle. Also, we will edit the FEM mesh density and change it to fine. We will select to run both models at the same time. When the analysis is completed, we can review the analysis and checking summary table that appears. This table includes the most critical results for the walls and supports among all construction stages. Overstressed elements appear with red, giving us a direct notification for potential issues and failures. We can review several result graphs on the model area for all construction stages, including a wall moment, shear and displacement graphs, the soil and water pressures diagrams, and more. We can see the result graphs with each examined analysis approach. We can see the support reactions as well as the structural and geotechnical check ratios for each support on the model area in each construction stage. Overstressed elements will appear with red, allowing us to quickly identify them. In the FEM model, we can also display the generated FEM mesh as well as various FEM shadings, including horizontal displacements, surface settlements, soil stresses, and more. We can also review the total displacement arrows with values for each stage. In the Optimize tab of DPEX, we can perform automatic optimization. We select to optimize the fixed length of a ground anchor, and we click on the overstressed tieback. The program changes the selected anchor's fixed length so that it can provide adequate geotechnica pullout capacity. In the Optimize tab of DPEX, we select the tool to optimize a support structural section, and we click on the overstressed ground anchor. DPEX automatically suggests a structural section for the ground anchors adequate to withstand the developed loads. Thank you for watching this video. Visit our website for more insights.